Hey, this is David from David Hamilton Reptiles. I'm going to show you uh, my snake setup and uh, a few of my snakes. We're going to start here. I got two of my racks. Uh, they're uh, five shelves. I have 28 quart Sterilite tubs in here. This is a completed rack. Um, this one right here, I'm still kind of working on. I just had to get it uh, somewhat set up because I have one tub up here with my uh, spider. I'll actually pull him out right now. It's a little stiff. There we go. So this is just Sterilite tub. I uh, use uh, Kleenex tissue boxes that my wife uh, gives me and I cut and make little hides. Uh, they work when they get dirty or wet. I just throw them away and I have a bunch. These little ceramic water bowls. And then um, this is my little uh, male spider. Uh, he's a uh, 50% het for hypo. Uh, he's probably my favorite snake in my collection. I got him from Jacob Olka Reptiles. Uh, really like his snakes. Uh, he also has some videos on YouTube. Um, this is just a pretty snake. It's the only snake my wife likes to hold to. Um, he's pretty uh, picky uh, about eating, but yesterday I finally got him to eat his first uh, rat with me at least, so I was pretty happy about that. I'll put him back down. He likes to be left alone. He's in the back, obviously where most snakes are, over the heat tape. I just put my hide over there. Um, put the water dish in. I use a uh, newspaper for my substrate. It's easy to clean up. It's cheap. I actually get it uh, from the Everett Herald because I live in Washington uh, for two bucks a roll. And then I just use a razor and um, I get these nice perfect uh, sheets of paper and I just fold it in half. Easy to clean up, easy to use. So push them back in there. It's a little stiff. I think I didn't measure right on this rack, but my other one's okay. Okay, we're going to move over here. This is going to be my pastel. I have these CDs in here because I made this top shelf loose, which is kind of funny because that one's super tight. So I have these to kind of hold it in there so it can't push out. <clears throat> this is another 2010 um, little baby snake. I got this also from Jacob Olka Reptiles. Uh, she's bigger. She's my female pastel. She's actually in shed right now, so she's not too happy. Uh, she also doesn't look the greatest right now because she's in shed. Uh, I think uh, she'll uh, shed out in a few days. Um, I'm hoping she'll be a breeder in about two years. Uh, she takes food really well. Uh, might be three years, but I'm hoping for two. Put her back in there. I don't like to mess with her. Have her on newspaper too. Uh, she also ate yesterday. I feed all my hatchlings uh, two times a week because I just want to get some size on them. Let her move. Put the hide box back over her over the heat, the hot spot. And just so she can't escape, I just put some little CDs that I never use just under the tub. Kind of white trash, but it works. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go here. This is another 2010 ball python. This is my pinstripe. He's a 50% het albino. I got him from Rainy Reptiles. Uh, from Simon. It's a local breeder here in Washington State out of Auburn. I really like pinstripes. He's a beautiful snake. Um, kind of a picky eater also. He's kind of, he likes to bite so I don't want him to bite me so I put him down. I actually have a, his hide is just the box I uh, had got the thermostat in and I just kind of cut it. Yeah, he, uh, he definitely moves a lot. Pull him back. I don't want to put the hide on him. There we go. He's definitely squirmy. Gotta be careful, he'll bite you. Okay, we're gonna move down here. This is one of my big adult females. Well, she's almost a full adult. She's 1300 grams. Uh, she's just normal female. Uh, she'll be a breeder this coming up year. I'm going to breed uh, her to my uh, pinstripe. And uh, hopefully I'll get a few pinstripes out of that. I'll get some normals, but I'll be happy about that. She's a finicky eater. I haven't got her to eat yet with me. <clears throat> More CDs because another loose tub. This is my big girl. This is my 2,000 gram normal uh, female. Uh, she actually might be pregnant. Uh, the guy I got her from said that uh, he bred her to a pastel, a yellow belly, a spider, and a Mojave. So, hoping she is. If not, no big deal. 
She's a very docile snake. I could pick her up. Uh, she has no problem being held. And this is my other normal. She's really dark. Another 1,300 uh, gram normal ball python female. Uh, I hope she'll be a breeder at the end of this year too. She's uh, have not taken food that well though. Okay. I don't mind if water spills. That just helps with the humidity. And with my adult ball pythons, I don't use any uh, hides. They're big enough and these tubs get dark enough so it's not a big deal. <clears throat> okay, so for the substrate, again, it's just... I have all this paper that will last me probably in the end of the year. Not a big deal. And I use a Herpstat ND uh, thermostat. This is for my hot spot. I actually keep it at 102 degrees, but when it gets through the plastic and everything, I temp it every day. It's only 90 degrees for the snakes. Perfect. Um, gloves. Use this for some of my bigger adult pythons uh, that are kind of uh, biters. So if I get bit, I don't feel it. I have feeding tongs for my uh, biggest uh, normal uh, female because uh, she's pretty aggressive. I have a little snake hook if I just need to get it out from somewhere. Little temp gun. These things are awesome. <clears throat> I have a uh, preventamite. Then uh, this is actually just distilled water. And that's what I use to um, water all my uh, snakes. Okay. And I think that's actually about it. Okay, stay tuned. I'm going to show you my rat room probably next week or maybe later this week. And I'll uh, show you some feeding videos too. It's David from David Hamilton Reptiles.